Hi, do you want this awesome Spotify player on your Home Assistant dashboard? This can be done in minutes and I'm going to show you how to set this up. Let's do this. Last week I created this video that shows how you can create an awesome radio player on your dashboard. A lot of people asked me if I could show how to do the same for Spotify. So here you have it. This video explains how to set up this amazing Spotify media player on your dashboard. If you combine both videos, you can create one media player that plays your favorite radio stations and Spotify playlists on your smart speakers in your home like this. And you don't even need to have a Spotify premium account for this. Yes, you hear that correctly. You can use this player with a free Spotify account. You can also use Music Assistant in the Home Assistant to play music, but I wanted to have a music player that looks sexier and that I can add easily to my dashboard and that supports free Spotify. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button for this video. This way you make sure that I can keep creating these videos for you. It's really not that difficult to set up this Spotify player. And even if you find it difficult, you can download the code I used in this video via the link in the description of this video below. The topics that I will cover in this video are how to set up Spotify in Home Assistant, how to install the mini media player, how to configure the mini media player, and how to play Spotify playlists. Before we can start with the media player, we have to make sure that Spotify works in Home Assistant. I use two integrations for this. The first integration is the Spotify integration in Home Assistant. The second integration is a Hex integration called Spotcast. For this, you need to have Hex installed. If you do not have Hex installed yet, I created this easy to follow video on how to do that. Check it out. Let's start with installing the Spotify integration in Home Assistant now. To install Spotify in Home Assistant, go to the Spotify developers page that is on developer.spotify.com. Then go to the dashboard and log in. And if you're not having an account, then sign up for a free Spotify account first, then click login. Now go to create an app, give the app a name. In my case, Home Assistant Demo, give the description. Click create. Now click on edit settings and add a redirect URI and enter the following line. The link is in the description below and click on add. Now scroll down, click save. Now click on show client secret and copy the client ID and client secret to a text file. Now go to home assistant, go to settings Go to Devices and Services, click on Add Integration and search for Spotify. Click Spotify. Now give this a name, for instance, my Spotify and paste the client ID and client secret that you copied to your text file. And click Add. Now scroll down, click agree, click on link account and you can select an area if you want. Let's say office in my case, finish. And now Spotify is installed in Home Assistant. The Spotify integration is now installed. To make it work easily with the media player, we have to install the Spotcast integration using Hex. Let's set it up. To install Spotcast, we are going to Hex then we are going to integrations, then we are going to explore and download repositories, and we are going to search for Spotcast. We are going to click on Spotcast, click download, click download again, and now first reboot Home Assistant by going to settings, system, restart, click restart, now we have to add some code to the configuration.yaml and for that it's handy that we have studio code server installed. So if you haven't installed that, go to settings, go to add-ons, go to add-on store, 
search for Studio Code Server, click Studio Code Server, click Install, click Show in Sidebar, click Start. Now go to Studio Code Server, and here you see all the files that are on your Home Assistant server. Click on configuration.yaml and add the following code. And as you can see, there are two codes here, SPDC and SPKey, and they are both secrets, so we have to add them in the secrets.yaml. Also go to secrets.yaml, add these two lines, sp underscore dc colon and sp underscore key colon. And now we have to retrieve these two values. And for that, we're going to open a new incognito browser window. So we're going to the three dots over here, click on new incognito window, and we're going to open dot Spotify dot com. I'm going to log in. I'm going to press F12 on my keyboard. We're going to application cookies open spotify.com and you see that I have an SP key here and I have an SPDC here. So I'm going to copy this value. Control C. And now I'm going back to Home Assistant. And I'm going to paste that code over here with Control V. We're going to do the same for the SP key. So go back to this page, copy the value of SP key, Control C. Go back to Home Assistant and paste the key over here, Control V. Save this with Control S. And now we are going to reboot Home Assistant once again. So we're going back to Settings, we're going to System and click on Restart. Click Restart. And Spotcast is now also installed. Now that Spotify and the Spotcast integrations are installed, Let's test if we can play a Spotify playlist through one of our smart speakers. I use a Chromecast Audio in this example, but I've also tested it on a Google Home speaker. Unfortunately, I do not own an Echo myself, so I did not test this on an Amazon Echo. I believe it's a bit more difficult to get it to work on an Echo. Please let me know in the comments if you can get it to work on an Echo as well. First, let me explain how you can retrieve the Spotify playlist ID and then use this playlist ID in a Home Assistant service. To test a Spotify playlist, we first need to know what the Spotify playlist ID is. And for that, we are going to the Spotify site. So let's go to www.spotify.com. Search for one of your playlists. For instance, my favorites. And now you see this code over here, and that is the ID of the playlist. So copy that code. Now go back to Home Assistant. And let's test it by going to the developer tools. Go to services. And select a service, and the service is Spotcast start. The device name is, in my case, the friendly name of my media player, which is Chromecast Audio. In your case, it can be something different. Then the URI, and the URI is Spotify colon playlist colon and then the number of the playlist ID that we just copied. And we can, for instance, say, play a random song. And now click call service. And our playlist starts playing. 
so it's working. We managed to call a Spotify playlist in Home Assistant, so now it's time to install the Mini Media Player in Home Assistant. To install the Mini Media Player, go to Hex, go to Frontend, go to Explore and Download Repositories, and search for Mini Media Player. Click Mini Media Player. Click Download. Click Download again. And click Reload. If my videos help you and if you want to stay up to date with my tutorials and not miss anything to increase your knowledge of Home Assistant and Smart Home, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell. It also helps if you post a comment. This way more people get notified about these videos. I need your support so that I can keep creating these videos for you. Oh, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up for this video. This allows me to make more tutorials for you. By supporting me, you also support my work as a music therapist to help people with mental issues. Thank you. The Mini Media Player is now installed. The documentation of the Mini Media Player can be found on this page. It has a lot of possibilities like playing from different sources, showing album and artwork information, and many more options to tweak the layout. We will set up the Mini Media Player so that it will look like this. It will show the title, artist and album information after we've set it up. You will know how you can add your own Spotify playlists after you follow this tutorial until the end. Let's set up the Media Player. Let's set up the Mini Media Player by going to a dashboard. Click on the three dots over here, click Edit Dashboard. Add a card, search for Mini Media Player. And here you see all kinds of options. So let's select an entity, which is your media player in the room. In my case, Chromecast Audio. Give it a name. I can give it an icon, for instance, MDI Music. I can also give it an icon image, that image will overrule the icon. I have an option to group cards, swap volume slider for buttons, toggle power button behavior, I won't do that. I want to see the artwork and in my case I want to see the cover. Source I can set on full, I don't think it does much with this. Sound mode, I also put it on full. Info, I'll put it on scroll. And I'm not going to replace mute. I can also add a background and a scale. I'm going to add the background, but for now we are going to save this. So now I have a default player here, and now we're first going to add a background. For that we're going back to Studio Code Server, and you see this folder www community mini media player, and on www I'm going to click with my right mouse button, I'm going to say new folder, and that new folder is going to be Spotify and within that folder I'm going to place an image and I already prepared that image I'm going to copy this image into this folder Spotify so now I have in www and I have a folder Spotify and I have a file radio background.jpg in there now we're going back to the dashboard we're going to click on the three dots, click Edit Dashboard, click Edit on the card. So I'm going to add a link to the background here, and the strange thing is that I'm going to start with slash local, which is actually pointing to slash www. So we start with slash local, then slash Spotify, and then slash radio background.jpg. Let's save this, and you see that it now has a background. Now that we know how to get the Spotify playlist IDs, let's add the Spotify playlist to our media player. In my last video about creating a radio player in Home Assistant, I showed that I created a script for each radio station. In this video I'm going to show you a different approach. We are not going to create scripts, but this time we will call the Spotify service straight from our player instead. Now we are going to add the Spotify playlists to our media player. For that we are going to click on the card 
and we're going to show code editor because we have to do that in YAML. And we are going to add some code over here. And we are going to start with the following code. Shortcuts. We are going to say we want to have three columns. So columns three. And we are going to define some buttons. And within the buttons, we are going to define some playlists. So we are going to define the first playlist. We are going to start with dash name, give it a name, favorites. We are going to say the type is a service. Then we are going to give that an ID, and the ID is spotcast dot start then we are going to add some data within data we have a device name which is the player in my room the friendly name is chromecast audio we are going to add the uri just like we did in the test Spotify, colon, playlist, colon, and I'm going to paste a playlist ID here. I'm going to say random song is true, and I'm going to say shuffle is true this means that it starts with a random song and that it shuffles the whole playlist so let's save this and you see i have a button favorites now and as soon as i click that button you will see that it will start playing one of the songs of my playlist and you see that the background is filled with the album cover and you see the name and you see the artist I can put it louder, I can make it less loud, and I can pause, play, I can go to the next song in my list, and another song, and I can also stop it. So this is how you add one playlist. Now let's add a couple of playlists more. Let's do that real quick. Click on show code editor. And click on save. And now you see I have multiple buttons here. Click done. Now I can click on one of them. That playlist will start playing. I can go to another one. I can go to the next song and so on and so on if you don't want to type the code from the screen you can download the code that i've created for this video via the ko-fi link in the description below with this you sponsor me and make it possible for me to keep creating these videos for you we can now play our spotify playlist through the mini media player i've created buttons to call playlists but you can also create a list if that is more convenient for you. There are more options what you can do. For instance, you can change the buttons into a list. So let's go to edit dashboard, click on edit, click on show code editor and replace buttons with list. If I save it, now I have a list of shortcuts that I can select instead of the buttons. I can also change this shortcuts name by clicking on edit, clicking on show code editor, go over here, down columns, and say label Spotify playlists, for instance. Save it, and now you see that it says Spotify playlists. And I can start a playlist by selecting that playlist from the list. 
And if you combine the radio player from my previous video with this Spotify player, you can create something like this. I want to thank everyone who has supported me in making these videos and tutorials so far. I could never have done this without you. Thank you. You can support me through Patreon, Ko-fi or by joining my channel. If you also want to support me, look in the description of this video for the links. With that, you make it possible that I can continue to make these videos for you. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I will see you soon. Bye bye.